Hey, good morning, everyone. It's your favorite nurse leader, Bill Keese Ali. And today we're going to talk about emergency preparedness. All right, so if you need helpful tips like this and you're a DON, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, emergency preparedness is something as a DON that we tend to not often think about too frequently. Okay, why? Because we have a maintenance director. However, when we're put in this position as the nurse leader, we are then responsible for the well-being of not only our residents, but our staff. Okay, the more your staff know about this um, information, the better um, outcomes you will produce. Okay, and then this will allow them to be um, secure and confident in when an event happens. Okay, so when we're thinking about emergency preparedness, we're thinking about fires, um, tornado storms, um, any, you know, anything in that, um, in that area where it can cause um, a sentinel event in your facility and affecting the well-being of your residents. All right, so a couple things I just wanted to talk about. Um, the same way I teach you about mapping your infections in your facilities is the same thing I want you to think about when you are having your layout for your facilities in the event of the quality of um, residents you have in your facilities. So for example, your bariatric residents, okay? Always know where they are located. Primi um, primarily, they should be um, located on the first floor, okay? This is an easy evacuation for them. Okay, when you have residents who are on oxygen usage, okay, where are they located? Are they located in the area that has an emergency um, outlet so that the um, oxygen is not compromised um, in the event of an emergency? The same with your residents with specialty equipment, okay? Um, anybody who has like your wound bags, okay, um, you know that they have to be functioning. Um, and then air mattresses. All right, so these are some of the things that I want you to start thinking about um, in the event of an emergency, okay? Um, we're going to locate our fire, our fire hydrants, fire pool stations, okay? Um, where are they? All right, and like I said, when, when we're thinking about an emergency pre preparedness, this is something that is exactly how it sounds. It's an emergency, meaning it can happen any time, okay? And it's most likely to occur in off shifts. All right, when we really don't have that support system. Okay, for example, myself, it happened to me on a Saturday. I was in, in my facility visiting, um, taking care of some things as we do as nurse leaders, and um, there was smoke all in my basement. Okay, and I had to literally evacuate um, my, my building. Okay, and that set me in panic mode. All right, because I was the only one in the facility and I didn't have the maintenance director to, um, to help me out. All right, so I had to then be confident and be able to lead my team to identify, okay, these are the things that we need to do to ensure the safety of our residents. Which leads me to the next topic. In the event that you do have an evac to evacuate your facility, um, who is um, the facility that you will call to say, hey, um, I have to evacuate my residents and you are the facility that is supposed to take um, residents if you are able to. All right, who is that facility? Does your staff know who that facility is? Um, do, your, do you have an emergency um, prepare plan for them? Okay, and I know that we have like the disaster plans um, that our staff should know. Okay, we know how detailed that um, information is. Um, what quick information can you leave for your team so that they can ensure the safety of not only themselves but their residents? All right, so that's what I just wanted to put a little information out just today on emergency preparedness. When you have your code drills, do not cancel these drills. Okay, these drills are what help us produce positive outcomes. All right, so when you have, whether it be your code blue drills, your elopement drills, your fire drills, do not cancel these drills. Okay, your staff need to be aware of how to manage any event of emergencies. All right, I have an um, article coming out in the um, Nadana Journal that will be out later this month. Make sure you go into that, and I go into much, in, much more in detail about uh, emergency preparedness. All right, so again, if you're a DON and you like helpful tips like this, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll talk to you soon.